Greg the Egg's secret rock cave in the mountains, despite being warned playing his music too loud. Oh dear. I told you to cause an avalanche, Greg, but you wouldn't listen to me. Goodbye, Prince George. Oops. Greg won't be making any videos for some time. He'll be too busy shoveling up snow for the highways department. I knew it at this what spinning lark led disaster. Hiya folks, me again. Um, VCLT from my good friend Greg the Egg. Um, I was supposed to do this video. Um, was it Thursday or Friday? Because I got the package I believe last Wednesday. And um, I've had a lot of problems in the last couple of weeks, you know, personal. But it all, I thought, great. Uh, on, on the, I think it was the Wednesday, I walked into a door. And my foot is really, really, really black at the moment and bruised. And um, I was hobbling about Friday. And uh, this is why it, it's been late doing the films. Because um, I wanted to get it done, like, for Friday and get it up. Um, but it's been an eventful few weeks. Um, you can see Sky News on the background. I thought I'd leave it on. Um, man, some news going on at the moment, isn't there? Uh, just a nightmare. But uh, anyway, I received this box of the legendary Greg the Egg. And if you haven't checked his channel out, it's Blackmore Rules. And he does some amazing album battles. To me, uh, every, every, the best album battles on the BC. And uh, there's a couple of other guys, I mean, me included, I did, I've done one. But uh, there's a couple of other people doing them now, these album battles. But to me, Greg's are the best. And uh, he just sounds an amazing guy. And uh, he's got an amazing dog. And uh, yeah, but uh, without any further ado, I've slipped the top. Greg, I think customs and excise have as well. Um, but, um, that's a, oh, wow. Well, wow. Well, yeah, got some food. Uh, wow. Got these cheesy snacks. Canadian crisps, I put uh, I, uh, what is that? Chezzy's, never heard of these. Wow. Wow. Um, I've never knew you could send food um, through the, the, this, but um, I was looking it out because apparently I was going to send you some food, but I wasn't allowed to send it in Canada because apparently Canada are very, very funny what you send, for, what food goes in Canada. But wow, just a uh, I presume these are Canadian snacks. Uh, real cheddar cheese. Wow, wow. No preservatives. They look French as well, because, yeah, wow, unbelievable. Oh, wow, another packet out of this world, amazing. Oh, corn snacks. Wow, I should, I should eat these later. Absolutely amazing, thanks. Um, I'm welling up already. We have some t-shirt action. Oh, well, Jack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, we always joke about this. I'm not going to say it's a jackass. Yeah, we're both jackasses. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing, Greg. Oh, cheers, buddy. Oh, wow. Def Leopard. This is a brick band from uh, Sheffield. I'm getting into some of their earlier stuff, but some of their stuff is definitely not my cup of tea. Um, it was massive news over here because the drummer, I believe, lost his arm. And uh, I rem remember him back, back in the day, Def Leppard. But unfortunately, I, I, I sort of, looking at the early stuff, which was really not bad, but the stuff we was bombarded with me, I tended to avoid them. Um, but wow, well, but uh, amazing, um, I say, band from Sheffield, absolutely unreal. Oh dear, 
Got some more t-shirt action. Um, oh, it's a Fruit of the Loom one, this one. Uh, sorry I'm talking a bit funny today, folks. The pollen count's been through the roof here, and I've been suffering really bad. And uh, I should have got some steroids. I'm trying not to start sneezing. Um, that's what's been happening when I talk a lot. I start sneezing fits and all this stuff. Oh, wow, Greg. Bacon. M Greg and myself have a mutual um, love of bacon. I love it. Can't get enough of the stuff. I hope you can see that. Bacon makes better. Makes everything better. It certainly does. Can't get enough bacon. Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm well enough already. Got some seven inch singles there. Never, I, I presume this is some. Am I guessing? Um, I don't know of this one. It's the Gore Points. Um, I should say it's Canadian Punk for a guess, but I don't know. Um, I haven't got a clue on that. I've heard of the Black Halos, but uh, I think Greg's introduced me to them. But I, I'm not going to talk about them because I don't know a lot about them. Vancouver Sport. Um, yeah, again, I don't know anything about this one. Oh, it's football. I do. Um, some sort of charity single, I presume. Again, I don't know anything about them. Oh, I love this one. This is, I do know about this one. This is the Keith Richards. Uh, this was Aretha Franklin and Keith Richards. And Whoopi Goldberg made a massive film. It's one of my funniest films. It was hilarious. And basically, the key thing in the film was the Rolling Stones jumping Jack Flash because there was a code in the song. And the dance Whoopi does when she plays it is just hilarious because she's in her slippers. And Keith Richards collaborated with the late Aretha Franklin and she sang the song, um, um, like for the film. But it's just an amazing, amazing collaboration. Uh, Aretha really did uh, do this song justice. But this what, what this was off. This is like a soundtrack film off the um, film Jumping Jack Flash. Oh, cheers, Greg. Yeah, I'm welling up already, buddy. Oh, it's all right. My apologies. That's it. Oh, <laughs> anyway, thanks, Greg. I don't know what to say, man. Oh. Now I've got a book. I do know who this guy is. Uh, wow, Steve Jones was the guitar player of the Sex Pistols. And he was brilliant. I can't wait to read this from a different angle. I've read a lot of books, but they tend to be sort of on the Linda, uh, sorry, Johnny Rotten and Sid Vicious relationship. And the Sid Vicious. Um, but it's best to read more about people like this guy. Because uh, he could seriously play, so could Glenn Matlock. Matlock wrote all the songs, um, but, you know, because the Pistols was never a short-term project. Um, it was meant to last, like, you know, they were going, going on. They were seriously good musicians, these guys. And uh, I just can't wait to read this. But I'm, I'm a big fan of the Pistols. Because you may have heard this before, but I was actually at a gig. I was only 11. And I was outside it, and because um, my dad took the wrong turn, well, he didn't take the wrong turn, he took a detour into London uh, instead of going round, and it would have been a lot safer because there was loads of these punk rockers all over the place, and it was a se uh, Sex Pistols gig. This would have been, what, 77, 78, and the Sex Pistols were playing, and it, it was a nightmare. Um, but it was out of this world, you could say, being part of history. And also, I saw a film the other night about the late, great Amy Winehouse. And I was actually part of her life because I was actually on the next street to her in North London. So I've never seen so many paps in all of my life. And uh, she was supposed to be, I don't know if she was or not, but that a rumour got round that she was on the next street to us and there's hundreds of paparazzis and how you could do that to people. But I've got the video coming, DVD, I put, it was only two quid. But I felt part of her sort of uh, creative, you know what I mean. It's weird when you're in these uh, funny places and something goes on. Oh, I've got some CD action now. 
Um, this is oh man, Greg. Uh, Iron Kingdom. Uh, I don't know which. Is this, is this the latest one? I don't. They could be. This is a brilliant band. Absolutely fantastic. I've got a feeling this is their latest one as well, but I might be wrong. Um, to, they, they're really, really good. Um, if you like Iron Maiden, that sort of stuff, you'll love these. Oh, well. Kim Mitchell. Um, fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm not f overly familiar, but I'm sure Greg will correct me. Oh, it's just amazing, man. I'm in some pieces. Um... Yeah, I'm sure you've sent me them in the past. I know the damn Yankees were. That was Ted Nugent's uh, band. I've got some of their stuff. Really, really good stuff. A big fan of Ted. It was Scott Waters, actually, who's put me back onto Ted. So I bought a couple of his vinyl albums back in the day. But listening to Scott's channel um, sort of got me back into this band. Um, oh, cheers, Greg. The next one is a band I don't know anything about. <laughs> One of my favourite bands of all time. This is Rainbow. Absolutely. Oh, it's out of this world. Amazing. Sorry, my eyesight's gone. I'm just trying to have a look at the track listing. But that's it there. But, uh, oh, it's Dio. <laughs> Absolutely out of this world. Anything with Richie Blackmore, to me, is probably the greatest guitar... Well, one of them. Um, greatest guitarist who ever lived. And if anybody says otherwise, um, study your rock history. But to me, I'm a massive purple fan anyway. But Richie Blackmore takes some beating as a guitarist. Uh, it's alright, my eyesight's gone all nuts here. Oh, God. Greg, you shouldn't have done. Um, oh, I know this one as well. This is the Rolling Stones live on air. Uh, this is all the BBC cuttings. I think from the... Uh, yeah, it would have been Route 66 from 1963. Um, they did all these BBC cuttings and clips and stuff like that and this is what this is from um, Route 66 was off their first album um, you've got mainly you got I can't get no satisfaction that was 65 I believe I may be wrong uh, oh, I'm, this is just uh, some amazing stuff here I've said it all but along um, if you want to hear raw metal well, not metal but raw music the rawest band was the Rolling Stones on their first album. If you want to hear what real rock and blues sounded like raw, forget all your Led Zeppelin albums, check out the first Stones album and any of the ra radio broadcasts. Because with the Stones, in their very early days, when they were doing the marquee and the, the jazz clubs in London, they didn't really know what they were doing. Uh, they could play the instruments. I mean, they could, Brian Jones could seriously play, but they're incredibly raw. But unfortunately, when the record companies got hold of them and they sort of started making the albums, they they smoothed them out, if you know what I mean. Um, but I always tell people, and I'll reiterate it on this video, if you want to hear raw rock or raw R&B, um, at its very best, check out the first, ro the, the early Rolling Stone stuff, which is on this CD, and you'll learn what Raw really was. It was Jack and the harmonicas and stuff like that. It was just, oh, that was Raw as it possibly could get. Um, but, wow. But, I'm so chuffed, Greg. I'm so amazed. Um, this is another band. Oh, Oh, Greg, I've just seen what's in here. I'm just so sort of thing. Um, this is a band I've heard of Fog at, but never heard of any of their music, if you understand what I meant. And Greg, this is a, Greg played this on an album, Battle, and it's got the best of, of uh, tracks, and uh, that fall to the city. But yeah, I think they were from London, um, but I've never, ever sort of checked them out. I don't know why. But it's weird, because, I mean, as heavy metal collectors, you, we can't collect everything, unless you're a billionaire. Um, but, unfortunately, you do sort of miss some bands, and I've missed some bands as well, and Fogat was one of them. But I can see why Greg sent me this, because this is a fantastic album. Amazing. But, yeah, you get all the big hits, they're live, and it's, this is an amazing um, band as well. But, uh, oh... Greyhawk, I know this band as well, uh, Greg, is. I think they're from America, I may be wrong, 
But uh, Greg sent me, yeah, this is a brilliant band, what I've heard of them. I think they're from Portland, Oregon, that direction. I may be wrong. Um, but yeah, they're awesome. Um, I'll have to do a what's spinning and tell you about them. But what I've heard, I've heard a couple of their songs. Amazing band. Out of this world. Oh, Ace for Haley. Absolutely amazing. This is a bloke out of Kiss. And this is another one. I sort of, I'm familiar with all, because to me, early Kiss were the best. Um, I'm sort of, well, they all went off on solo careers, I must admit. Um, I've only started listening to it since, you know, I got involved in the VC. Plus, for a fact, CDs now are so cheap um, compared to what they used to be in my day. Uh, in the 80s, they're like £20 a piece. Now, look on YouTube, you can get five for that price. And I sort of went for the main bands. I didn't check out the side projects or stuff like that. But, yeah, can't wait to listen to this one. Um, but I can't see the date because my poor eyes are no good. But anomaly. Oh, thanks, Greg. BTO. Um, Bachman Turner Overdrive. I've, I've heard of this band, but again, I don't know any of their stuff. Um, no, I've heard that Greg's played me them. Uh, I've heard it, but it's sort of one of the, like the Res Band. Um, Greg introduced me to them. If you haven't checked them out, they're amazing. But uh, I'm familiar with the name, but not familiar with the music. Out, out this world. Oh. Got a yawn. I don't know how you pronounce that. Song for Ronnie James. I presume it's some sort of tribute. Um, yeah, there's members of the D.O. I don't know what this is, actually. Yeah. Unless it's a D I've never seen this one before. It, it's a uh, song for Ronnie James, Yawn. Could be one of the CDs. I'll have to check this one out. I know it looks like some. I just don't know what this is. It looks like it could be. A, I'm only sticking my head out. I should say it's a tribute band. Um, it's got. Oh, I may be wrong. Um, I think what they're doing is they're they're performing um, Dio songs. Yeah, yeah. Unless they, I don't know anything about this one, but it's a funny one. Um, I presume it could be a tribute band. Uh, I haven't got a clue. Wow, something I've never seen before. Oh wow. Wow, this is a plaque, one of my favourite bands, uh, Led Zeppelin, um, out of this world Greg, and um, Pacific Coliseum, they were, it's a live show, $7, they were the good old days, wasn't it, $7, 50 cents to see a show, I can't, you don't get change out of 100 quid here, that's probably over a couple of hundred Canadian dollars, I wonder who was supporting them. But, well, it's a, it's a plaque, and you get a little silver, old Canadian, I think it's a, it could be a dollar or 50 cents, I don't know. Oh, it's out of world, world, Greg. Oh, cheers, man. Yeah, it's a plaque. It's just out of this world. No refunds. Oh, and it's got the promoter on Wednesday, March the 19th, 8pm. It's got to be in the early 70s, this is. Um, I don't know which tour it was. Yeah, I would like to see who the support bands are on these, and did they make it? You know, you get a lot of these support bands. Some, well, very few made it. Let's be honest, but uh, it's just an amazing. But ah, uh, oh, cheers, Greg. We I got there in the end. I'm sorry, I'm a bit funny. Um, my speech, but I say it's this in England. I don't know if you get it abroad. We got what we call the pollen count, and a doctor I had to go and see the doctors. And they say it was something to do with this COVID lark and there's uh, pollution levels and stuff like this. I, it's just above my head, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, I've got to be careful when I talk. So if I talk like normal, I start having sneezing fits and stuff like that. And it's just crazy. But we had a lot of rain here last night. 
So hopefully the pollen counts, um, well, it should have gone down by now. But anyway, thanks, thanks, Greg, from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I just sound, I'm emotional there. But thanks a lot, mate. And uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, cheers, Greg.